The search is on for the person who shot and killed a 15 year old boy in North County. Neighbors react to the violence so close to home. More police patrols in Manchester. Where and why officers will be cracking down on drivers in the St. Louis County town. Two sets of clouds outside north and south are going to impact our area today. What that means for the second half of today and then when we'll see a weekend warm up. Tonight, Francis Howell's school board could vote on new black history courses. What these new classes will focus on after the board axed two other black history electives. It helps boost their self-esteem and that's what I want. Yeah. And that's the meaningful part. On average, teenagers spend $1,100 just to go to prom, where your student can snag a snazzy suitor dress for free. The first round of the NCAA's March Madness Tournament starts today. We take a closer look at the Fighting Illini's mindset as they try to shake off last year's disappointing run. This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. Look at that. Woo. Wow, I love the new lighting at the arch. Yeah. Good Thursday morning, everybody. It is March the 21st. I'm Randy Knott. I'm Michelle Lee. Thanks so much for joining us. You know, we always talk about the new lighting. When does it stop becoming new? Mm, I think mm. over here. When we stop saying it. When we stop saying it. We're pretty green out on the roads, yes, right? Looking pretty good. Are. Paul Cook's in the house. Of course, Gary Frank's also here to keep an eye on our weather and our wind and yeah. the cold. It's not too bad. It's could not? Be, it could be a lot worse. Okay. It's cooler than mm -hmm. yesterday, you know? Yeah. It's going to be all right. I, I think the, the best part about it is I think we were looking at more clouds yesterday, and, and it's not going to be as cloudy today. We're still looking at clouds increase. However, uh, as we continue to look outside, this is still that beautiful shot of Missouri Botanical Garden. So I left it up so you can see it because the sun is not up yet, as you're very aware of. It is dark and early here at 6 o'clock, and we have to use the arch to light things up. That's why it's part of that new lighting program. I do think we're going to see a really nice sunrise here this morning. As temperatures above freezing, we're at 37 degrees. It doesn't take much of a breeze, which is out of the east at around 10 miles an hour, to make it feel a little cooler. That's the difference from yesterday. Clouds to the north hitting dry air. They are not really reaching us, kind of falling apart. And to the south, clouds will increase again. However, temperatures in the mid to upper 50s today. Today. As a result, we've been a little bit more cloud cover. I am tracking a little bit of rain tomorrow, but it's going to be much warmer tomorrow. What that means for us and the weekend ahead. And of course, as we check things on the road, Paul, I heard you had your seat warmers on. That means somebody's doing it since Anthony's not here. Yeah, we've got to do the index there. And uh, uh, then you're about midway to work or wherever, and you're like, whoa, it's hot over here. We've got to turn these off. Uh, really, definitely uh, moving on the roads, though. That's great here. Some construction notes. Route 3, real quick, underneath 55 in Festus, you're going to be seeing a closure there throughout the day here. That should begin soon. We go to the St. Louis Metro because we always want to show you what I call the big map here and you're going to find all arteries are moving gives us another opportunity this one you might be uh, kind of adjusting for each morning 44 going westbound at 109 not going to have closures today that's going to be happening overnight in just a second we're going to talk about the poplar street bridge closures so stay right there it's heartbreaking that you have to come home to some stuff like this that your neighborhood is blocked off from someone getting killed this morning, neighbors and loved ones are heartbroken after a 15 year old boy was shot and killed in North County. Our Sydney Stallworth joins us now live from the Page Doe Police Department this morning with the very latest on this investigation. Sydney. Well, Rennie, Michelle, the major case squad has now been activated and is investigating yesterday's deadly shooting. We're told 19 investigators are working on this case and trying to find the shooter. Now, this shooter happened just yesterday afternoon around 1 p.m. at Purdue and Bradford Avenues here in Pagedale. When officers arrived, they found the boy shot in the chest just feet away from a park and a playground. Our crew went out into the neighborhood and saw about a half dozen evidence markers in the street. This morning, neighbors and county leaders say they're worried about the violence and its impact on our young people. My son said he heard about seven, about seven shots. It's happening too often. You can't even send my kid. Kids want to come out and play, but you can't even send them outside to play because of all the violence going on here. What we're seeing is that uh, this type of violence is happening with younger and younger victims and assailants for that matter. Um, and obviously there's a lot of 
issues that need to be addressed, a lot of underlying issues. Now, anyone with any information is asked to contact Crime Stoppers. That number is there for you on your screen. It's 866-371-TIPS. And we just heard County Prosecutor Wesley Bell talking about this increase in violence affecting young people in St. Louis County. I took a deeper dive into the numbers to see how many violent crimes are affecting kids. And I'm going to break down what I found in our next half hour. But for now, live in Pagedale, I'm Sydney Stallworth, five on your side. Thank you, Sydney. This morning, a 15 year old is facing second degree murder charges in the stabbing death of a Jennings Junior High School student. 14 year old Justin Brooks died last week after a fight near the school. The suspect was arrested on Tuesday night in Jefferson City. If convicted as a juvenile, the 15 year old could be in a juvenile detention center until the age of 18. But some courts could extend that to the age of 21. This weekend, the City of Jennings Youth Commission is holding an anti-violence rally. It's on Saturday from noon until 2.30. There will also be a panel discussion, followed by a call to action for all of St. Louis to combat youth violence. The meeting spot is at the corner of Horde and Cousins Avenue. The St. Louis Department of Health is hosting a panel discussion about maternal and child health. According to city officials, Missouri's maternal and child health rates have been some of the lowest in the country and worsened at the end of last year. Mayor Tashara Jones and local physicians will take part in the discussion from noon to two at the Missouri Foundation for Health on Vista Avenue. Happening tonight, the Francis Howe School Board could take action on newly revised black history and literature electives. Uh, Megan Kernan is joining us live in O'Fallon, Missouri, with how a vote tonight could affect students. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, Michelle. Barring any last minute changes, the Francis Howe Board of Education is set to vote on the new curriculum on black studies and this will be the final vote. Last year, district officials removed two black studies electives over concerns about political bias. But after students staged protests, the classes were reinstated, but with changes. During a school board meeting last month, the revised black history and literature courses were presented to the board and the public for a first reading. That new curriculum will focus on the foundation of black history, colonization, the Civil War, the Civil Rights Movement, and analyzing historical documents. So the final vote is set for tonight on the new courses, unless a board member elects to pull it from tonight's agenda for a separate discussion and vote. Now tonight's Francis Howell Board of Education meeting starts at 630 in our next half hour when the new black studies will go into effect if the board passes them. Live in O'Fallon, Missouri, Megan Kernan, five on your side. 608, your weather first forecast this morning. Main difference is a little bit of breeze from yesterday. It's not much, but anytime you get a 10 mile an hour breeze when it's at freezing, it feels a little cooler. That's what we would expect as we look at the airport. It is not affecting any issues. A couple of things you look at this and of course a lot of snow to the north and really just a few snow showers. That's not reaching the ground. That's not going to impact us. It's more indicative of the temperature. You look to the south, there's cloud cover and a few showers and storms, and that's what's headed our way over the next couple of days. But overall, we'll see a few clouds and I as a result of this, I would expect a pretty nice sunrise here over the next half an hour, so we'll be sure to share your photos and keep an eye on it. But right now, locally, your temperatures just above freezing in Forest Park. Big picture, it's not all that different, but that's where the warmer air is eventually going to settle in. Maybe not today because we have an east and southeast breeze, but eventually this afternoon, a few more clouds, but still mid 50s. It's pretty good with the southeast breeze at 10 miles an hour. That breeze switches. It's even lighter to start tomorrow and we see a slight chance for rain. We'll highlight the hours tomorrow that you may see rain and just how high we're going to get for Friday. Right now, the search is underway for an escaped inmate and his accomplice where officers were ambushed to help the prisoner get away. Increasing safety means increasing fines and patrols. The areas where Manchester officers hope to stop speeding. Sacked for stealing. Why the Dodgers fired Shohei Otani's interpreter just hours after their season opener. 